In this video, we'll be showing you guys how to download the Cordis files that are necessary. Um, this is a requirement for Lab Zero. We are doing this on a Windows computer, so if you have a Mac or Linux and are having issues, please come to Office Hours. Matt and I will be explaining this in step-by-step -step process. Hey everyone, this is Matthew and... Angela. So we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to install the Quartus software that we're going to be using this semester uh, for Digital Logic. So the first step for uh, what you want to do is Google Quartus Prime Download. And we're going to just look at the links that we have here and we'll click the first one. So download the Intel Quartus Prime software. And so this will bring you to this page. What we're going to be using is the light edition because it's free. And so click that and we'll be brought to this page. So there are, uh, there's a big list of files that we uh, could potentially download, but we only need a few of them. So let's uncheck all of the devices and select Cyclone 5 and Max 2 and Max 5, uh, just because we're going to have to be doing projects for these boards. Also make sure that you have Quartus Prime checked and Model Sim Intel FPGA Edition checked because we also need those software. So once we have those selected, we can choose Download Selected Files. And it will bring you to a sign-in page. So you probably don't already have an account for Intel. So what you want to do is click Register Now for an individual account. which will bring you to a page that looks like this. So it asks for things like business email address, job function, just put your UF email and select like engineering or something. Uh, it doesn't really matter. All right, so whenever you have your account made and you have signed in, uh, it'll bring you back to this page. Uh, so one thing you want to make sure is that you make sure that you still have light selected. Sometimes it'll go back to pro. And we also want to make sure you have the proper files selected. So we want these two up here, and then Cyclone 5 and Max 2 and Max 5. And you can then just uh, download the files. I already have them downloaded on my desktop, so it was really quick. So it, it might take about 15 minutes is how long it took for me. Okay. So once you have your files downloaded, uh, I just would put them on the desktop. You're going to want to find Quartus Lite Setup, uh, the executable file. This will be the file that you actually want to run to download the software. So if you double click that, eventually it will open up this window, which is the installer itself. So it has some you know, background information about it. We're just going to navigate next. It'll be presented with the license agreement. You just want to say accept and then next. I would leave this uh, installation directory uh, just as a default. So we'll hit next. And so this is actually the window that where we're selecting the different devices that we downloaded the support files for. So make sure that you have Cyclone 5 and Max 2 and Max 5 selected, as well as Intel uh, FPGA Starter Edition of Model Sim and actually the software itself. And then we'll hit next. It'll give you a summary about how much space it'll take up. And it'll actually start installing. So this could take uh, quite a while. So make sure that your power, uh, computer is powered on and uh, connected to the internet. So after the installation finishes, you should be able to actually uh, open the software. And you should be presented with a screen that looks like this. So if you can make it to this step, you have the software correctly installed and it should work for everything that we need this semester. This is the final step you have to complete before coming to Lab Zero. In the next video, we'll be showing you how to set up a, a project and that will be necessary for the next lab.